All right, we are stuck on this particular polynomial division. x cubed minus 3x plus 2, x cubed, no x squareds, uh, negative three x's and two, divided by x plus two. Hmm, looks like we're stuck. We thought about unexploding, brilliant idea. Turns out not helpful here because I don't know how many dots to draw when I unexplode because I not telling you what x is. What can we do? All right, this is why I love being a mathematics teacher because right now we have a wonderful opportunity to learn a life lesson. In fact, here's the life lesson I want to teach right now. If there's something in life you want, just make it happen and deal with the consequences. All right, so what I mean by that, I see one dot, two dots. That's what I'm really wanting here. And I got that one dot. There's something in life I want right now. What do I want right here? Well, I want two dots to go with it. So my life advice, there's something in life you want, just make it happen. There it is, two dots. But deal with the consequences. Now, I can't just change this box. It was meant to be empty. So that technically, I've got to keep this box empty. So how can I keep that box empty and still deal with what I get what I want? Well. What if I did this? Whoa. If I put in some anti-dots with these two dots, that box with annihilations is still technically empty. So I haven't changed anything, and I've got something. I've got what I want right there, in fact. All right, so that's at least one group of what I'm looking for. Bingo. Now, like all brilliant ideas, that was brilliant, that was clever, that was grand. But the real question is, was it helpful? It got us going a little bit, but I'm not quite sure if it really got us all the way there. Hmm. All right, so what can we do now? Um, I see those two dots there. Is there something in life I want right now? Is there something in there I want with, to go with them? You bet there is. What I want in life right now is a dot right there to go with those two dots there. Make another one, two pair. Brilliant. Now, something in life you want, make it happen, but deal with the consequences. And one way to deal with that consequence is actually put another anti-dot to counteract it. Brilliant. So now I see two of what I want. One there and one there. Uh, I'm still not quite sure if it's helpful. Got me a little bit further. Feels good, but I'm not quite sure if it's really doing what I want. Because now I've got all these anti-dots floating around. Oh, heavens. All right, so moments like these might just say we really are stuck. Um, or it might be time to go for a little walk and just let your mind rest and think about this for a while. And then maybe a flash of insight has just come to you. Because actually, <laughs> I see something. Well, if I did this one anti-dot and those two anti-dots. One anti-dot, two anti-dots. Is that the exact opposite of what I'm looking for? That's an anti-one of what I'm looking for. In fact, there it is again. Whoa. One anti-dot, two anti-dots makes another anti-one. And that accounts for everything. Now that feels really good. In fact, I can see the answer just has to be one x squared, uh, two anti-x's, and one. Bingo. I was actually lying about lying earlier on. This method is brilliant. It really does work. So what I'll do now is yet another example to show how this works. Just to practice it, it is actually grand. This feels joyful. This is exciting. I just love it. So let me clean the board. We'll do one more example. All right, board is clean. Let's do another example. Let's do, say, x to the fifth minus one divided by x minus one. Let's try it. Okay, uh, the numerator. Okay, lots of boxes. So there is a one box, an x box, x squared, x cubed, x to the fourth, x to the fifth. Uh, one x to the fifth, yep. No x to the fourth, no x cubed, no x squared, no x's, and one anti one. All right, I'm looking for x minus one. What does that look like? Well, that's an x and an anti one. So I'm looking for one dot and one anti dot next to each other. I see none right now. But I'm not going to panic because I have a life lesson under my belt, which is there's something in life you want, make it happen. I would love an anti dot to go with this dot, please. Make it happen. Deal with the consequences. Got one of what I want. Okay. Anything else in life I want right now? Seeing that dot there, I'd love to have an anti dot there. Make it happen. Deal with the consequences. Bingo. Dot, anti dot, make it happen. Deal with the consequences. Make it happen. Deal with the consequences. Oh, and look, it worked out perfectly because there's a final, final copy of what I'm looking for. So this, this division problem worked out nicely and I got this really strange answer. It looks like it's what? An x to the fourth and an x to the cubed and an x squared and an x plus one. This polynomial division works out magically. By the way, I need to point out, people really do seem to forget that x can be a number in algebra class. For example, I think this problem now, so this works out to be a nice answer, tells me that 17 to the fifth power minus one, whatever crazy big number that is, 
is a multiple of 16. It's a multiple of 16. I claim that's divisible by 16. Can you see how I can see that from there? Huh. Actually, all this great polynomial work is really great results in number theory. You can tell if numbers have factors or not by playing with some polynomial work like this. Crazy. All right, grand stuff. Polynomial, polynomial division, high school algebra here is just beautiful. Just draw a picture and it all just falls out magically. Love it.